one of the things we found out when we started on it, when we started this uh, supplement company with uh, my friend Aubrey and myself, when we started making this uh, vitamin called Alpha Brain, we had a certain amount of ingredients that were in there. And so then we would get it third party tested. And so then we get a third party tested and third party tests are like, um, you guys have uh, this in there too. Like, what is that? Why is that in there? Well, it turns out when you're getting your stuff mixed, they're not really cleaning those barrels out real good. Right. They're just tossing shit in. and Right. So if you're buying like fucking super pump from you know, the vitamin shop, whatever it is, you know, that has like something that's supposed to boost your testosterone and they're making it in the same place where they're making real roids. You're, yeah. Well, then you're, you're getting fucking, it. You're going to get a little, it's going to get it. And some of the stuff that works, works because it's roids. Right. You know, I mean, that's the thing. Like those gas station dick pills. It's probably just Viagra. Uh-uh. Not according. I've never tried them, but not according to my friend Brian, who was a, a gas station dick pill addict for a while. He says they're steroids. He says they have to be steroids because really? they make you so aggressive and they give, they, they give you so much energy. And he goes, your dick is hard as a rock. He goes, I was addicted <laughs> to them. So there's just sales. You're going to see a big spike in sales of like dragon fire or whatever they call yeah. that shit well, they, for this. They did find out that a lot of them had Viagra in it. And it's one of the reasons why they kept getting pulled. But they would get pulled and then they'd come back with a new name. So they're all done like with foreign companies and sneaky companies. So they'd be, it would be like, you know, like black rhino would be one. And then like <laughs> that would be like white rhino would be the new one. Right. You're like, you got, got, got rhinos. We got the white rhinos. Okay. Give me one of them. <laughs> and people were essentially going to gas stations and buying these wild unknown amphetamines spliced in with Viagra, spliced in with steroids. What That's exactly crazy. are the rhino pills? Some rhino products can contain uh, seden sedenafil or tadafil, according to the FDA. Well, These are respectively uh, the active ingredients of Viagra and Cialis. Yeah. yeah, but I think they also had some other stuff in there, man. They had some other stuff in there. On the top, minerals, herbs, vitamins, enzymes, amino acids. It doesn't have to say what they are. Right. Could be any. Maybe also steroids. Yeah. <laughs> maybe <laughs> also steroids. Maybe also. Menstrual. Yeah. There's some stuff that you could take in oral form that I guarantee they, that's not expensive. And if you can get people like my friend Brian, who's like completely addicted to these fucking things, he's <laughs> buying them all the time. <laughs> he did, didn't he do like reviews of gas station dick pills? <laughs> Brian Redband, you're the man. Oh, that's he genius. did, right? He did reviews. Yeah, I mean, he talked about it enough. They were all reviews. He's a character, man. This is a dude who, uh, when Pepsi Spice got made, he developed a website called PepsiSpice.com because they didn't have the, the they didn't have the domain. So he bought the domain. So he bought Pepsi Spice and then documented him drinking Pepsi Spice all day long and horrible diseases happened to him. He's fucking, his life's falling apart. He's losing weight. He was making it up. He just made up this fake blog about dying while drinking too much <laughs> Pepsi Spice. Really? Yeah. This is the dick, dick pill guy. He's, did, an, he's a maniac. Did Pepsi ever go like, hey, I uh, think they did. I think they did. And I like think they backed off. to our attorney. Yeah. I think they fucked up, though, and not getting the domain. And this guy had the domain. And then they're concerned, is this guy actually drinking 15 gallons of Pepsi Spice a day? Does he really? Is he having fucking cholera? Like, what's <laughs> happening to this kid? But how did we get on this tangent? It was all about no, uh, left. DUFC uh, allowing peptides. Oh, and, yeah. And we got there from... Nuclear waste, and yeah. we got there from uh, coal fusion. That's a pretty good, it's been a nice little run. Yeah, yeah. It's um, we're in a weird time in this country where where people are so divided that they don't even want to look at the actual truth of things. If they have like an ideological position on things, they just want to only hold on to that and never open their mind up to other people's perspectives. And it's also at a time where more people have access to information than ever before. So it's so easy to change your perspective today. Because there's so much information, you can, you can always get new information. And there seems to be a, between both political parties, a, a, a feverish need for control that I don't ever recall 